Hello, hello, hello. I am ready to draw something today and have you come along and draw with me. I pulled out a few markers that I think I need for this. I have brown, orange, and green. I'm making a pineapple. It's going to be a stylized pineapple that uses hexagons to look like all the little parts and the texture on the outside of the pineapple. Um, a hexagon has six sides. It's not easy to draw, so I start with an X with a line through it. Then I'm able to connect all the ends of the lines to form a hexagon. So my next hexagon will be right below. So I make that X with the line through it and connect the sides on this side from here to here like so. And then from this straight out and connect this is almost looking like a honeycomb because the bees use the hexagon pattern too when they're building. So I, I'm going to keep going and adding that hexagon with the X and a line through it and connect all the sides. That one was a little lopsided, but guess what? It's all right. I mean, pineapples aren't made by machines in a factory. They are natural objects. So the shapes that come from nature aren't perfectly perfect and the lines aren't always perfectly straight. Okay, let me add some more on this side. Okay, I'm going to do one more right here. And then I'm going to make a line across the bottom for the bottom of my pineapple. I think I'm just going to go around the outside of the shape of my pineapple with this brown. And I'm going to go around each hexagon with the brown. That's looking more and more like a pineapple. Good. I think I'm going to put a little dot in the middle of each of these. And I think I'm going to color with this light orange crayon. Pineapple is one of those fruits that is hard to get to the inside because the outside is so rough. Not like an apple. You can just pick an apple and up and bite it. In an orange, you can just peel it with your hand. But pineapple, you need to use a knife 
to cut away all the hard part on the outside, but the inside is so juicy and sweet. I love fresh fruit. I really even don't like the pineapple that comes in the can anymore. Since I've had fresh pineapple, it's kind of spoiled me. Now, I'll take my green and I'm going to make some curved lines that come out of the top. Some will be shorter than the others. And then I'll go around them with a skinny line that meets at the top and comes back down. So I'm going to come up to the top of that line and around back down the other side. Very nice, very nice. And then I'll color these in with green, with a green crayon. I like markers, but I'm not a, really a fan of coloring with a marker. I love the way that crayons look on paper. I prefer that to coloring with markers. That's just my personal preference. I'm going to add a little bit darker green on some of these just to give it that added touch. I think that's pretty cool. Does That's a nice pineapple. It's kind of crooked on my paper, but guess what? It doesn't even really matter. That was awesome. Ding. So today we used a hexagon to make our pineapples. That hexagon shape is really nice. I think I'm going to add a picture frame with the hexagons going around at each corner. And remember I just used an X with a line through it and then connect all the lines like that X with a line through it. So it's almost the way that you might start off drawing a snowflake. A snowflake has six sides. And the last one down here. These aren't perfect hexagons, but they'll do. Then I'm just going to connect with the green line. to make this picture frame. I think that just finishes it off nicely. Very nice. That's very nice. There we go. The pineapple. Well, that was fun today and I think that using shapes like that just made making a pineapple a little bit easier. Drawing pineapples is not easy, but drawing hexagons is not very complicated. So I hope you had fun today. I had fun with you. Come back and we'll create more cool stuff.